Is the Bible corrupted? According to some Muslims in the years of 2000 and above, they started saying that the Bible has been corrupted. The Quran is the perfect, preserved book of Allah. Nobody can change the word of Allah. They believe nobody, Muslims believe that nobody, not even one person can change the word of Allah. It is exactly the same words. But when it comes to the Bible, they will say some Christians temper with the Bible and then they change some scriptures. Guys, let me show you guys. Quranic references, chapter 6, verse 34, says not even one single person can change Allah's word. Not even one single person, chapter 6, verse 34, there is none that can alter the words of Allah. Chapter 6, verse 115 says none can change his word. Chapter 18, verse 27 says none can change Allah's word. You can read it all and you will understand. And then now, some random Muslim says, because we all know that Allah, according to Muslims, is God. And according to Muslims, Allah is all-powerful and orders everything that Allah says. Do you believe, as a Muslim, listen to me, that if Allah says, if uh, uh, this thing is going to be standing here, nobody can displace this thing. Nobody will ever be able to displace this thing. Yes, he will make sure that nobody can be able to displace this thing. Nobody can be able to do these things. If Allah says, everybody that are going to hellfire, nobody is going to be coming out. Do you believe somebody is going to be coming out of that hellfire? Nobody can come out of that hellfire. That is what I believe that an all-powerful being called God is able to do. So if God says there are two destinations after somebody dies, either heaven or hell, nobody can go to a third des destination. Everybody will either go to one destination or the next. There's not going to be there's not going to be re free. That is not he's an atheist, he doesn't believe in God, so he's going in his own direction. It is either heaven or hell. And is because God is all powerful. And so we have a God here who says the Bible is his word. The Quran is his word. And the Psalms given to David is his word. The Moses was given the book. The Torah is the word of Allah. Is we gave Moses the book, chapter 2, verse 87. He sent down the law to Moses, chapter 3, verse 3 of the Quran. And then we see have the same God saying something like, David was given the Psalms, chapter 4, verse 163, that these things we gave David the Psalms. And then Jesus was given the gospel, chapter 57, verse 27, saying that to Jesus was given the gospel. And so we have today random careless Muslims coming up and telling fake things saying the Christians 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 are able to change Allah's word. Allah said that there is none that can alter his word. And then random one or two uh, 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 Christians that study theology for five years, six years, ten years, random weak people are able to defy the all-powerful creator of heavens and earth, creator of mountains and suns, creators of universes. Random human beings, as little as we are on this planet, as small as we are, even the moon is, is maybe, I don't know how many times bigger than all, all the billions of human beings. And the moon is just nothing. It's just dust in the whole universe. Then, this random me, small as an ant in front of the God of the all-powerful being, can come and defy the all-powerful because this all-powerful so that not even one single person, none, none can alter that word. And then randomly, careless people like us come and change the whole thing. Guys, I don't know if you are believing that your God is all-powerful. So if at the end of this video there is a Muslim somehow saying something like, no, uh, uh, you guys change it, you guys change it. So it means if we really change the word of Allah, which was sent to Jesus Christ, according to you Muslims, the word of the sent to Moses, sent to David, then Allah is no more all-powerful. And if he's no more all-powerful because we change it, uh, Allah is no more God and you are worshipping the devil. In case we, you are going to conclude and say, yes, you guys did not change, no problem. I now accept because your, your logic is very clear. You, nothing was changed. The, the gospel which is right there today is the same as what is given today. It's the same as what Allah revealed and there's nobody that changed it. Then there is still a big problem because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the gospels contradict 
the Quran. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 26 to 31, Luke, uh, Mark, chapter 15 to 20 to 26, Luke, chapter 23, verse 32 to 34, John, chapter 19, verse 17 to 18, all of these different references say one single thing. It says the, diff, the opposite of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Chapter 1, chapter... Um, Jesus Christ was crucified according to the, according to, uh, what's the verse again? Chapter 1, chapter 4. Jesus Christ was not crucified, sorry. Jesus Christ was not crucified according to the Quran, chapter 4, verse 157. The Quran says it extremely clearly that Jesus Christ is only a messenger. He was not crucified. Nobody crucified, but was made so to appear. So Muslims, now you are blocked because if the Quran is if, if God is all-powerful and then he preserved, let me just read, preserved the Bible, preserved the Bible, then Islam is false. If, if the Bible was actually contradicted, if the Bible is actually tempered with and changed and there is a problem with the Bible, then Islam is still false. Why? Because the Quran says God must be all-powerful and this all-powerful being has one random human being has broken the power of God. God said that nobody can change it, but one person came and changed it. Guys, you guys are worshipping the devil. Clearly saying you are worshipping the devil. Stick to the end. Follow other videos. Subscribe. Share my videos. Comment something. God bless you abundantly. Repent and give your life to Christ.